Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today in this video, I'll be talking about integrity constraints in a database. So integrity constraints uh, are not very specific to SQL Server. These are very common and generic use terms and they are related to a DBMS product. And it can be applied to any database product being SQL Server, Oracle or anything extra. So integrity constraint is nothing but it is a kind of a standard and set of rules. Most of the database follows to maintain the integrity of its data. And I'll take you to my blog sqlithmanos.com where I've already blogged about this and you can check in my blog post DB basics integrity constraints in a database right so before going to integrity constraints we'll see first of all what exactly is a constraint right so a constraint is a property assigned to a column or the set of columns in a table that prevents certain types of inconsistent data values from being placed in the columns okay so it's pretty much clear that constraint is nothing but a constraint is a set of rules. It is a kind of a gated check, you know, which scrutinizes and checks the data that is going to be inserted into a particular table. And if the rule is satisfied, then only the data gets inserted. Otherwise, the row is discarded, right? The entire row is discarded, right? Not only that particular data. Okay. So the constraints are used to enforce the data integrity in a database, right? This ensures the accuracy and reliability of the data in the database. Okay. Now, what is integrity constraints? So it is used to ensure accuracy and consistency of data in a relational database, right? Every RDBMS like SQL Server, Oracle, any RDBMS integrity constraint rules follows, right? Data integrity allows to define certain data quality requirements that the data in the database needs to meet, right? So if a user tries to insert data that doesn't meet these requirements, the RDBMS will not allow so. So specifically talking about integrity constraint, it is just a concept of a DBMS, right? Any database management system. And when we are talking about a constraint, these are objects that you can create on a particular table column, right? To enforce the rules, right? So constraints can be typically uh, grouped into these particular groups, right? First being the entity integrity. The second is referential integrity. Third is domain integrity. And the fourth one is user defined integrity. So the first one entity integrity deals with primary key and unique key constraints, right? Uh, primary key means that, you know, you are by defining a primary key on a particular column will uniquely identify a row. So primary key will not allow null values and not allow duplicate values. The unique key is also similar to primary key, but this allow null values. Okay. Referential integrity is nothing but, you know, setting relationship between two tables, right? And making sure that, you know, the data that you are entering in one table is being referenced by the second table means first of all you populate the reference table then only based upon the reference table you are entering the record in the base table right so the data only that is present in the reference table is being entered in the base table right third category is the domain integrity right default constraint so what does default constraint means so you can apply a default constraint on a particular column where you know if a particular user does not pass the value then you apply a default value, right? So let's say if the user who is entering the record does not know the address. So instead of the address, you can just apply n slash a, right? So if the user is not entering the address, so instead of null, the value that will be entered will be n slash a that is not applicable, right? Okay. So the second type of domain integrity is not not null constraint, right? So if you apply a not null constraint on a particular column, then that particular column has to have values every time, right? You cannot have a record that have a not null constraint having a null value. So if a user is entering a null value on a particular column that is having a not null constraint, that particular row will be rejected, okay? The third type of domain integrity constraint is the check constraint, right? So the check constraint helps you in applying a logic at the column level, right? So let's say if there is a gender column and you just want to apply male and female values, right? So you can write a check constraint on top of a particular column while you are designing a table right that you know this column can accept only male and female values if the user tries to insert any other value the insertion of that record will be cancelled will be failed right the fourth type of constraint is the user defined integrity constraint that is the rules so you can create rules so if these all constraints does not suffice for your data integrity rules so you can create your customized rules right and this can be anything that can be applied at the table level and the column level right so this is all about integrity constraints. I'll be talking more about all these constraints uh, independently in my coming videos. So please stay tuned and uh, let me know what do you think about this video. Please let me know your comments. 
please like the video if you really like it and please subscribe the channel so that you know you are aware of the next videos that i'm going to add for each of these particular constraints right thanks a lot for watching this video have a nice day